Hi, welcome to Tablet to Table, bringing classic recipes to the modern chef. Issue two looks at the work of Maria Koslick Donovan, a prominent advocate of continental and Asian cookery in the 1950s. Penned by Professor Donnelly Bryan, we brought some of these ideas to the modern kitchen. Brenda Hughes and Maria Denae are inner urban mums and passionate cooks. They both have an interest in recipes that have graced our tables for generations. Recipes from the 50s that we're copying and cooking aren't necessarily from the 50s. They are from way earlier, but were handed down in such a manner. And that's where the community cookbooks are good because I try a recipe that my mother gave me that the kids at kinder love, and she got it from her mother. The butter, I think, and a bit of vanilla. So yeah, that sort of stuck to the sides of your stomach for the rest of the day. The builders next door said they didn't want their lunch after they'd eaten it. It sounds like builders and shearers, you know, they're the, the uh, what would you call it, the scales of if it's edible or not. It's quite sour. It's not bad. It's stuff that's in the cupboard. Like it's not stuff that you have to go out and specially buy. Our guest chef, Robert Stedler, has worked for many years in some of the great Melbourne kitchens. He now travels the world as a consultant to new and developing restaurants. Thing like you said, filleting the chickens, cleaning the chickens, I think that must have been more of the, the huge skill. And again, chickens, you probably would have had them in your backyard. So you would have been feeding them your own veggie scraps and, and things of that nature. Well, that's why they've got molecular gastronomy now, because now science has come into it. Mm -hmm. Science and art has come into cooking opposed to food. The, 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 the art of cooking good food is now purely up to the chef. And now, so I'm really gonna think. <laughs> In this day and age, the term continental is basically not used because the world is such a small place when it comes to food. What do I think? Yeah. I think it's the basis for a lot of what we were taught as chefs 15, 16 years ago. I don't think too many people change their techniques. Um, I think over time now people have got better recipes for things. But the methods still, the proof is in the pudding, the methods are still sound. Food still works. And that's all gone. <laughs> For more information on where to grab this and further issues, visit tablettotable.net. May good times prevail.